Creating a timer animation might seem simple on the surface level, but there's actually a surprising amount of depth you can add to these kinds of projects. Today, I'll be showing you three different ways to create timers and how to make graphics that can animate alongside them. What's up everyone, this is Jordan Bertone with Sonduck Film, and let's get started with our first timer. The first thing we'll do is make a basic countdown timer with hours, minutes, and seconds. Start by going up to Layer, New, Null Object, rename this Null Object to Settings, this is really important because we're going to use an expression that references this name exactly. Highlight the null, then go up to Effect, Expression Control, Slider Control, and Effect, Expression Control, Checkbox Control. Duplicate the sliders so that we have four total, then we'll rename the first one to hours, second to minutes, third to seconds, fourth to speed animation, and the checkbox control to reverse. Again, the names have to be exact because our expression is going to reference these exact names. Next, select the text tool. We're going to create a basic text layer that was just two zeros like this. Rename it to hours, open the text layer, hold the alt key and click the stopwatch for source text, then paste in this big expression. You can find this expression in the video's description. This is a very complex expression, but basically all it does is attach this text to our settings layer that we just made. The only important thing to note in this expression is first character and end character. It's set to 0 and 2, which means it'll only affect the first two characters and that's the hours. Duplicate the text layer two times, rename one of them to minutes, the other to seconds, open up minutes, go into the expression, change first and end character to 3 and 5, open the expression for seconds, and change the first and end character to 6 and 8. This will make each expression target the correct part of our timer. Now, all you need to do is set the timer to the numbers you want. So if we want to have a 1 hour timer, we'll set the hours to 1, leave the others at 0, and set speed animation to 1, which is regular speed. And you can see now that we have a 1 hour countdown timer. You can increase the speed with the speed animation slider, and if you want it to count upwards, just check the reverse box. All we need to do now is design the timer how we need. We can start by making a small circle shape, We'll give it a quick scale animation for it to reveal itself, and use it to make colons in between our numbers so that it looks like an actual timer like this. We can also add a title animation to our numbers by opening the text layer, clicking Animate, Position, Add, Property, Opacity, set the Y value of position to 50, Opacity to 0, open the range selector, set a keyframe for Start, move forward a bit, and then set Start to 100%. Then, all you need to do is copy and paste Animator 1 onto the other number layers to give them the same animation. Now you know how to create and animate a standard countdown timer. Next, we'll show you how to make a graphic that animates along with your timer. Here, we have the same timer and settings layer as last time, but for this composition, we only want minutes and seconds, so we'll delete the hours, but make sure you don't delete hours in the settings layer because that will break the expression. For this composition, keep hours and minutes at zero, set seconds to 15, and enable reverse so that it counts upwards. Next, select the pen tool, set fill to none, stroke to solid color, stroke width to five, and create a line underneath of the timer that goes across it like this. Duplicate this line layer, set the stroke width to be 35, we'll change the color to be red, then open the shape layer, contents, shape one, stroke one, change the line cap to a round cap, then go to add, trim paths. Open the trim paths, alt click stopwatch, we're going to paste in another expression that you can find in the description. This expression attaches itself to the value of the seconds and moves the line along with it, so now if we scrub through the timeline, the line matches with the seconds. And now you can tie in graphic elements with your countdown or count up timers. Before we move on, we have many timer elements as templates within our Motion Duck extension, which has over 20,000 editable project files for you to use. You can easily browse a template and then import it into your project. Then you can edit the titles and all other parameters to fit your project's needs. On top of that, the camera shakes and particles used in this video are from our VFX pack within Motion Duck, so you can easily find whatever you need for your projects. Be sure to check out our links in the description below to see all the templates we have and download our free 100 template pack for After Effects and and Premiere Pro. Lastly, we'll write out our own expression that we can animate with custom graphics. Start by creating a new null object layer, we'll name it Settings again, then go to Effects, Expression Controls, Slider Control. Next, we'll create a new text layer, we'll just type out a zero, center it in the middle of the composition, 
Then open the text layer, text, alt click the stopwatch for source text, and we can start writing our expression. The first thing we'll type is math.round with parentheses. This will make it so that our counter rounds to the nearest whole number so that it won't show every decimal value between each number. Next, type thiscomp.layer, parentheses, quotation, settings. This will target the settings null object layer. Then type dot effect, parentheses, quotations, slider control, another set of parentheses, quotations, slider. This targets the slider control effect and then the slider value inside of it. Lastly, put a space, plus symbol, another space, quotations, and a percent symbol. Basically, whatever you put inside of these quotations will get put at the end of your counter. You can put anything you want here. Now, when we adjust the slider control, you can see the number update live with it. Next, we'll make our graphic. So select the ellipse tool, make sure fill is off, stroke is set on, set the stroke width to 70, hold shift and control, then click and drag to create a circle around our text like this. Duplicate the circle shape layer, change the opacity of the bottom circle to be 40%, open the top circle layer, contents, ellipse one, stroke one, set the cap to be round, then select add, trim paths. Go back to the text layer, copy the expression that we just wrote inside of it, then alt click the stopwatch for end on our circle layer, paste in the expression, and delete the plus symbol and percent sign. Now, when we move the slider control, the circle will animate with our text. Lastly, all you need to do is set a keyframe for slider, move to where you want on the timeline, and increase the slider to 100 to animate both the circle and the text at the same time. Now you know how to write your own expression for animating a counter with text and graphics. Before the end of the video, I wanted to tell you that we made a Discord server for our community. The link for it is available in the description below. It's a bit empty at the moment, so come and chat, say hi to Josh and I, post something funny in the memes channel, and just hang out. Thanks again for watching, and remember, always be creating.